तो नमस्कार दोस्तों आज हम देखने वाले हैं कि माउस एरिया का यूज क्या है क्यूटी में क्यू में तो माउस एरिया हम यूज करते हैं जब कोई नॉन सेंसर एरिया या नॉन सेंसर कंपोनेंट होता है उस पर हम टच ऑपरेशन परफॉर्म करना चाहते हैं जैसे कि हमारे पास इमेज है या पर रेक्टेंगल है या हम कोई कस्टम कंपोनेंट बनाना चाहते हैं जिसमें हमें अप्लाई करना है कि वो जब हम उस पर क्लिक करें तो वो कोई एक्शन परफॉर्म करे या फिर कुछ कंसोल पे प्रिंट करे या फिर कोई दूसरे कंपोनेंट का बिहेवियर चेंज करे तो उस टाइम हमें वहाँ पे सेंसर एरिया चाहिए होता है तो बट सेंसर एरिया अप्लाई करने के लिए हमें यूज करना होगा माउस एरिया लाइक बटन बटन कॉम्बो बॉक्स सोच डेलीगेट्स ऑल द थिंग्स आर ऑलरेडी हैव द माउस एरिया कंटेंट दे आर इन साइड वेन एवर दे राइट द component that time they use the mouse area but uh, जब हम uh, custom component को create करते हैं उस time भी हमें mouse area की जरूरत होती है तो हम uh, देखते हैं कि किस तरह से हम mouse area का use कर सकते हैं और क्या क्या uses हो सकते हैं mouse area के तो सबसे पहले हम documentation देखते हैं कि mouse area का क्या documentation है सबसे पहले हम open करेंगे mouse area का document so uh, आप google पर search कर दीजिए mouse area in QML mouse area in QML and you will see uh, the documentation of this mouse area like currently I am using the 6.7 version of the Qt so uh, you need to check your version of the Qt and the property available uh, based on your Qt version like if you are using Qt5 that uh, you need to switch from here the Qt5 at that time you will see uh, the property available in the mouse area most of the are the same property which is available in qt5 and the qt6 are the same related to the mouse area and uh, some of the component change like the rectangle are changed uh, they introduce uh, some new property like that left top bottom uh, radius to apply on the rectangle like as we see the previous uh, video uh, uh, i posted on the youtube so you can check that and also you can check uh, uh, the Qt documentation so kuch property available hain jo mouse area ki hum check uh, dekhenge like the mouse content and the content press and accepted button uh, accepted button basically use jab hum uh, koi button like left right button hi use karna chahte hain mouse ke and other button use nahi karna chahte ya hum koi button use nahi karna chahte just we need to check the hover if it is enable the hover or not that time we will use the mouse area uh, property and uh, based on that we use the accepted button uh, we will see this is the uh, nm property here we need to apply the left button right button all button and no button also so we will see this in video and also the drag drag functionality basically the advanced whenever we move uh, drag and drop uh, functionality in our application most of uh, application use the drag and drop functionality that time we use the uh, drag behavior by using the mouse area and uh, the enable functionality like uh, we want to enable the touch uh, touch area or not that we apply the true or false and hover enable basically like whenever we move the mouse like whenever i move the mouse in in uh, this uh, the property it will uh, show the underscore uh, of that and, and also the show the link enable that this is called it the hover behavior so we can enable the hover behavior and we will see this in the video and we have the some uh, property like the press uh, this we can use the press currently press or not and we can also handle some of sort of the signal like uh, clicked or uh, enter exit and uh, press and release and the wheel wheel basically we use uh, for uh, like whenever the we move the mouse that time it will generate some coordinates of uh, like current position of that element and and clicked like whenever we press like whenever like if i am press on this that time it will uh, generate signal like on click that on click we handle inside the QML and on that handling uh, we use some sort of uh, uh, actions or uh, we print some debugging messages we will see uh, later so that uh, some of the signal available and also the you will need to understand if you are mastering in the mouse area you need to learn this documentation uh, well written documents of the qt how this uh, mouse area will work and and uh, how we can accept the button left and right here it provide uh, some uh, 
uh, example code so we will see this uh, one by one and this is something you allow cursor like whenever we want to change the shape of the uh, mouse like whenever the mouse move or uh, available uh, like hover that time we will to we will see the different uh, mouse shape or we whenever we enter on that particular area where we apply the mouse area that time we need to show some different different mouse cursor that we can do and uh, uh, these are the drag and pro drop property we can drag and drop the uh, one rectangle to another and left right button uh, so these are some of uh, the property available and also we need to uh, also other property available inside this inherit if you see the inheritance concept that the parent uh, property also available inside the child then we can move into the item then we will see uh, other property also available like active focus active focus on tab anchors we can apply some anchors on here anti-aliasing base child and focus implicit breadth layers and gradient scale enable disable xyz width and height transform state we will see later and just need to simple basic property we need to understand to create uh, just to learn the basic then we will go uh, basic to advance and learn on the future actual use of the mouse area so i'm just in this video just showing the basic property we are uh, use the mouse area just basic creating the basic component like button or some of the area like image where ne we need to apply some sensor area or the touch area and perform some basic operation and the basic use of the signals of that uh, uh, mouse area so let's let let i create the rectangle i here uh, so i apply some width of the rectangle uh, like width uh, is 100 and height 100 and also we apply some radius here and radius uh, i apply height divided by two and uh, the color of this uh, red and we place that rectangle in center so let's apply some anchor here center and of the parent and we want to apply some mouse area of that rectangle like if we want to apply whole window of that then we need to uh, of the child of this uh, uh, the, the window uh, and अगर हम apply करना चाहते हैं सब rectangle field में और avoid करना चाहते हैं अल outer field of that rectangle then we need to uh, mention that mouse area inside of that rectangle let's apply the mouse area here write the mouse area and we uh, what we need to do we can also apply the height and width uh, to like we want to the particular area of this uh, rectangle then we put the x y and uh, uh, the width and height let's suppose we just want to put a uh, 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 50 and the height also 50 and x 0 and by 0 and on click we uh, just uh, change the color of the rectangle okay so we need to apply some uh, id here like rect and on click the on click the rect uh, dot color equal to green like currently we have the red but uh, we want to click to it will uh, convert uh, to the green so if i am clicking here it will not uh, clicking because i apply only the 50 50 and the top uh, right uh, sorry top left uh, of that like if i click on here then it will only change the color of uh, this okay so this is if we want to fill uh, like we don't want to x y z we just want to uh, click anywhere of uh, the rectangle then it will change the color then we fill anchor dot fill parent parent basically the rectangle so हम ये आगे चल के देखेंगे कि anchor कैसे बर करता है so like uh, whenever I click anywhere of this it will change the color and we will see uh, like how the hover property will work let's uh, enable the hover here so hover enable and it will true like and uh, we uh, give some ID here the mouse area uh, mouse area sorry 
and mouse area let's uh, check that uh, based on that uh, if mouse area dot hover and uh, sorry contain mouse contain mouse that time i'll check that why based on the ternary operator like that time we use the black color black blsck black color, otherwise the red color so let's check if i move this it will turn on black if i move outside that it will turn on red if i click that it will on green so this is something called it property binding or uh, here the use of the mouse area we can also achieve similar behavior based on the enter exit signal like whenever we enter like on enter enter console dot log let's uh, check if it is generating or not the enter enter on exit console dot log exit okay so let's run and we will see if it is printing the log or not like if you see here uh, in uh, the log on console let's move this aside and whenever we move like on enter whenever i exit enter exit enter exit enter exit whenever i press this that will turn on the green so this is something like enter exit will work that time you can also change the color of uh, this uh, rectangle like here like if we want to uh, just remove this here and on enter the color uh, yellow on exit rect dot color green or uh, something uh, like pink okay so let's check so let's i enter this it will in the yellow and on exit it will on pink and if i press this it will turn on green enter exit enter exit so this is something the uh, we can uh, create the hover uh, so these are the some of the signal and on press like uh, i want to use the on press uh, on press okay on press signal so on press i want to uh, just print uh, the log like current the button is in press condition condition and also similar uh, signal we have the on release on release uh, that time also we print console dot log console dot log the signal is released let's check like if i am moving here nothing will happen like i am pressing the right button of the our mouse if you see this the button is in press condition let's i release that button so then the signal is released and also it till is also the pressed signal that's why it green convert into the green that uh, on clicked because basically whenever you press that time it will say like uh, also clicked signal generated so uh, this things you need to keep in mind the the convention of the qt is we need to press uh, place the on before that of any of the signal you are creating so uh, like this is uh, the clicked is the signal and the on we need to place before that and the first letter of the signal is capital let's understand this behavior let's i remove this all the things and we want to create some custom signals here like here i created some signal just put the property name the signal or the type of the uh, uh, of that property uh, basically the signal and like i'm uh, uh, the name of the signal i want to use like uh, pressed okay so this is the signal i created and here i want to uh, use root id so like whenever i clicked here so i want to uh, generate signal like pressed root dot press so whenever uh, i click on that it will uh, generate this uh, on click signal on click signal i again 
emit another signal which is the pressed of the root which i custom created and how to handle the signal like we can handle like based on on uh, we put just on and uh, the pressed press the ph capital like pressed and here i uh, put the some console log to debug if it is generating or not the signal pressed generated and handled okay let's uh, run this and whenever i click on this it will see the signal pressed and generated and handled then uh, what happening here like whenever i press uh, the sensor area it will generate on click signal on click signal and i again generated one more signal here uh, the pressed and here i created that signal and that signal will handle based on like the on press the whenever the it signal generated it will uh, emit and on emit it will handle like uh, the slot something this call it and we can we can also uh, handle by a connection property we have the one more component the connection then connection we can uh, we have one more property call it the target target i am targeting the root root id basically the parent component and here uh, we can handle like function we need to write the function and uh, uh, the signal name like on pressed on press and uh, something like that like we need to put this also uh, the uh, bracket and here we need to write uh, a function and this convention on pressed here and like the function basically uh, in form of the function and here i also write the console dot log uh, the different signal type handling handling like so then it will also print this it will also print this let's suppose like this is the behavior we use uh, this type of the behavior we use when where i created uh, the signal uh, below of that signal and this type of the connection we use anywhere of uh, uh, the component like if we want to use the inside of this then we can put here we can put a mouse area inside the mouse area any up inside the component if we want to change the color like i also want to the change the color of this rectangle based on the press like we put here the color and here uh, it change the mm, yellow okay so whenever i press that will uh, print this console also this console also because we are handling here also and we are handling here also what is the difference between the both as i uh, say like uh, whenever you create the signal that time you need to handle uh, that signal only that place like currently it available only here okay but whenever i want to handle says signal some other component inside the some other component or inside some other files that time we use the connection element to handle the signal we can also uh, target some c++ classes that time we will see in future how to do this so this is uh, the second method to handling uh, the signal in different component we can also handle with the same component uh, but uh, the basically we use this uh, uh, to handling in in the different components so let's uh, run the application and see uh, the output so let's erase uh, this and let i press this if you see that it will change the color yellow and also be printing the both this one and this one like it handling the, the signal also this is handling the signal also and it will change the color too so this is something the use of the signal uh, mechanism will see in details how to create signal and how to uh, handle by the connection with the different file but uh, uh, in this lecture we are only focusing on the mouse area and on the mouse area the click event basically so let's suppose i erase this everything and i just want to use uh, some image and we want to make an image as a clickable so i use image and uh, we apply some property of the image let's suppose the width 100 and height 100 and also we have the source source basically the uh, source size basically the image size actually you want like this is the area cover by the image like this is the area covered by the image but uh, actual 
the size of the image we need to apply here the size like i only want to the 50 50 the height and width but the area uh, like uh, preserve for that is 100 100 but the image size is only the 50 and uh, uh, source uh, the one more property have the source where we apply the link of that image so let's download from here the sbg image sbg icons of linkedin or youtube any of uh, we want to use here just for uh, showing purpose so let's suppose i downloaded this vector image of the youtube channel so let's copy this and inside the project uh, like uh, demo and here i put that image and let's uh, use this image inside this so uh, go right click on that and here the existing file add existing file and we will click on that and it will add on the resource file then right click on that image and copy with the qrc url and we can put this url here and uh, let's uh, put this in the center of this uh, parent window center anchor dot center and sorry center in of the parent let's uh, check like it will uh, uh, loaded in our application but i'm clicking on that nothing will happen but i want to click that icon and to move uh into to open the youtube channel so uh, like i apply here the mouse area and inside the mouse area anchor dot fill uh, we want to fill uh, parent basically the want to click anywhere of this image it will uh, generate signal like on click uh, whenever we want to open the link or uh, we can also use the console but uh, we already seen this console let's uh, we want to open some external link uh, which open in the browser so we use qt open extra url externally here i put the youtube channel link like uh, youtube.com and here at the rate tech coder hub so uh, whenever we click on the uh, youtube icon image that will open the external link which is open inside the default browser and and uh, we'll see let's let's see like i'm clicking on that and if you see it will open uh, the default browser and it will open the channel link so this is the use of uh, the mouse area and also other use as per your requirement you can use the mouse area like you want to uh, put inside the image you want to put inside the rectangle you want to uh, put any of the custom element you want to make it uh, like a sensor area basically the touch area you want to use so this is the something uh, uh, we need to learn in mouse area so here also the other property available you can check like uh, one more important property we need to show the accepted button so let's suppose i move to the accepted button and here see the accepted button left right and no button like whenever like use this property like if i apply this property here something accept button left button and right button like so whenever we use this left right button like uh, here the code of the left right button so if i open this uh, like copy this and apply here in our application let's uh, close this mouse area and if you see the parent dot color something blue and red if i click on the right button but if i click on the left button like uh, currently uh, we are using the image so let's here convert into the rectangle and we don't have the source or width so let's uh, currently dot showing because uh, it is uh, some uh, if i press the right button okay so it will change the red color otherwise it will uh, change uh, the green color if i again press the red if i press the right button then uh, it will change green red green left right basically the left right action but if i uh, apply here the no button like qt dot no button that time if i press 
any of the button it will not accept like i'm pressing it will not accepting let i apply some color here the yellow color let's suppose uh, color yellow yellow color but if i'm pressing the left right button but it will not affect uh, like uh, accepting that button because i uh, use the accept button no button so this is something you can use if you want to like uh, open the menu item i uh, item like in future you create uh, uh, the real world application that time some uh, some places you need to open the menu icon like pressing the right button of the mouse mouse uh, that will it will open uh, some menus and we perform some operation that menu that time it will help you to uh, like uh, here you can open the menus like open the menu open menu item or you want to like perform some uh, any specific operation that time you can use that uh, the accepted button so this is the use of the accepted button let's uh, explore some other property as well so this is uh, use of the drag and drop and the cursor cursor save also the important let's suppose i want to change the cursor of the mouse like whenever we enter and we want to change the cursor shape so these are the cursor shape available like uh, i want to use some copy cursor okay so let's i just want to put here and it will like whenever we move uh, that touch area it will change like the copy the plus if you see the here the plus button it coming so this is the copy button area if you want to change uh, the up arrow cursor or bait cursor like let suppose the bait cursor for something uh, operation are performing performing that time we use the weight cursor so let's suppose uh, and this is also you can apply some conditional ways like if you see this whenever we enter here it will swing some weight condition weight cursor so this is something we can apply also uh, based on conditional like uh, this operation then we apply weight cursor this condition then we apply some arrow cursor and copy cursor paste cursor so this is uh, the use of the cursor shape and uh, uh, other important property the enable condition you can use enable disable like uh, whenever i uh, use enable false that time if we move that time it will not show the bait cursor because currently the mouse area is disabled so uh, if you see uh, it will showing uh, Ah, yeah enable is true let's suppose make the false if i move this it's still showing oh here we need to move the conditional if enable then only otherwise so some different cursor like uh, cursor shape some uh this one so let's suppose uh, I move this, it will show some different cursor like uh, some uh, sizable uh, vertically. And but uh, if it is enable, let's suppose I enable this, and it will show some different cursor. So we can make this enable disable conditional based on that, it will convert on that. So let's uh, check other property as well, like which is important for us. The mouse X, mouse X will be later. So uh, that's it for the uh, mouse area. We will see other property in future where we create actual application and where uh, it required that property. So that's it for this video.